Dynasty. Still a dynasty. Six-time world champion. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. The Patriots bringing an end to Boston's 98-day championship drought. Life is good for Boston sports fans. 12 championships since 2000 doesn't get much better than that. The Patriots celebration tour is officially underway. Roger Goodell giving Julian Edelman his MVP trophy earlier. Jules leading the way for the Patriots. 10 catches, 141 yards last night against the Rams. It wasn't a great night for the offense, but in the end, all that mattered was the final score. You know, it wasn't pretty. But I'll take an ugly loss or an ugly win over a pretty loss any day. So, uh, you know, it was, it's, it's just awesome to, to get the win. And who needs sleep? Clearly not these guys. Tom Brady and Julian Edelman in Disney World today for their first parade of the week. Just a small sample of what they can expect back home in Boston. And what a difference a season can make for guys like Jason McCourty, who went from 0-16 with the Browns last season, and on Sunday, well, he went on and won the Super Bowl with his twin brother on the field with him. Today, he said he didn't just do it, they didn't just do it, I should say, for each other, but for fans all over New England. We represent this New England area, uh, hardworking grinders, um, and it felt good this year to kind of take on that role um, and truly feel like you, you could feel everyone behind us. We went in that game, you know, with a chip on our shoulders, but I thought we went in that game with the whole New England chip on our shoulders, and um, it was a, it was a good feeling to go out there and, and get the sixth ring uh, for this area. And what an incredible day, 24 hours for Brian Flores. Last night, his defense played their best game of the season when it mattered most. Today, he became the 13th head coach for the Miami Dolphins. No time to celebrate for him. He's got a lot of work to do in Miami. I kissed my wife on the field. Well, uh, we celebrated a little bit last night, and then we hopped on the plane, and we got here. So that has been much celebration. Never a quiet sports day in Boston. Tonight, the bean pot got underway. Plenty of highlights ahead. Plus, how do you know Boston fans are obsessed with their teams? Well, because they show up at everything, from Super Bowls to Truck Day at Fenway Park. More on this coming up.